Welcome back to The Breakfast. And now for our final conversation this morning, we have Buki November joining us to share with us uh, on a bit of PLOS trending. What are the major conversations that um, have happened in the last 24 to 48 hours on social media? Uh, most of them all around uh, cryptocurrency is, uh, and it's banned in Nigeria. Good morning, Buki November. Good morning, Buki. Looking really good this morning. As always. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning to you. Let's get straight into it. Exactly. Um, so let's go uh, straight to the comments. So from what I saw on social media, people are saying the same thing they said during the Okada ban, uh, Amara ban, um, regulate not ban, basically. Um, so this um, tweet says, one, no, uh, one does not need to hold a powerful public office to introduce powerful ideas into the public debate. Something needs to be done fast about the direction Nigeria is heading to, or rather falling into, the crypto ban is just a small link in a very long chain. So you see, it's, it's, this is just one of the many things people expect to happen. In fact, people are anticipating that they'll ban social media in Nigeria. Like the social media bill yeah. is actually going to scale through. You know, that's because it feels like anybody can do anything. It, maybe not anybody. It feels like the government can actually just come up with these things and then enforce them and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, next comment, um, also from Twitter, he says, instead of banning crypto, CBN should lead the way and encourage banks to accept crypto and hold wallets for customers. Q, Singapore banks. Um, encourage development of crypto assets and talent. Lead the revolution or be swept aside by it. Brings us back, this brings us back to the comments I saw some time ago on social media. It says, Nigeria, we don't invent things. We, we follow the trend, right? But then when it feels like this trend is getting bigger than us, we try to hide. We try to sweep it under the carpet or, or get it out. If you can't control something, if you, if you, if you can't control something, or if you, if you don't have control over something, you, you see it as a threat, as yeah. opposed to learning how to, understand, understanding it and learning how to make it yours and use it for your own development. Um, so next comment. This is also from Twitter. It says, this is a clear indication of policy somersault and lack of futuristic planning. The policy is both restrictive and a clear response to fear of innovation ideology that is universally accepted. My fear is Nigeria might be left behind in a global economic advancement. Simple. That's what, what I just said now. Well, left behind, that's, I mean, we've been left behind in a lot of things. So, you know, this shouldn't be new. You mm -hmm. know, but, you know, from our conversations with Mokhtar Mohammed, one of the things that we should have mentioned is, um, I think the Central Bank of Nigeria also has issues with communicating, mm -hmm. you know, with Nigerians on the reasons that they, yeah. they make these moves. So when you, um, you know, create a new policy or you, you know, take certain steps, you know, mm -hmm. it's great that there is some level of communication. No, they actually did. Down. The CBN governor actually released yeah, a statement about, saying they received a warning from the FBI saying it was used to uh, sponsor terrorism or was used to pay. Yeah. That Bitcoin and uh, cryptocurrencies are now being used or demanded by kidnappers, uh, you know, as a source of ransom, basically. Wow. Yeah, but the same so, way the Naira has been, same way the dollar has true, been. True, anyway. So true. There, but those are the be, reasons they gave. Yeah, you know, but if, if you can, if you look through the views that people have, um, it's not very often that you see, you know, a person that says, oh yeah, I agree with the CBN, it should be uh, banned, or it should, you know, th these steps are right. A lot of people don't agree, and it's not because they're dumb, it's because they have completely different ideas on how these things could be done. And so, yes. if the CBN wants to convince Nigerians that these are great um, ideas and, you know, it's safer for us to do this, then they should have better communication, better comps um, um, methods that they can communicate with Nigeria. I exactly. agree. And I've been reading up about this whole cryptocurrency situation, you know, just like what you said, regulate, not ban. I've seen articles, you know, listing ways the government can actually regulate, regulate exactly. cryptocurrencies without yeah. killing it. I have no idea why the government did not seek this alternative it, rather than outrightly saying It just saying, goes back to what this. I said. If, you did, they, if you can, they can't control something this straight up ban it, but I don't see us progressing as a country if you keep banning things that you, you ban it in Nigeria, but it's not banned globally. People outside Nigeria, and that now feels like people outside Nigeria or youth outside Nigeria are advancing faster than those in Nigeria, and it's actually but very sad. And what I what I think also is that the ban on social, the ban on cryptocurrencies in Nigeria, what is also going to do is that it will just open up more holes for fraud and. You know what? What we we'll call shortcuts or kona exactly. in you know the oh, I saw comments, balance. I saw comments like that on social media. That said, you know what? Ban it. In fact, there was this one. I couldn't put it about on the TV. Ghana. That no, the one that had the gate. 
Okay. And then it had like grasses on the side. <laughs> and then so they put a small gate and said ban cryptocurrency. But there are other roads on True. the side, like you can't True. pass wherever True. it is you people, want. To. People are now even advocating, going as far as saying if they're they're saying they're closing bank accounts that trade in cryptocurrencies. They're going to go as far as opening bank accounts in Ghana yeah, and do their okay. transactions through there. So the, the pe Nigerian youth are resilient. We will find ways to, you know, to beat the system. So the, the government just needs to do the, what it can to integrate exactly. everybody, regulate Thank you very it, much. such integrate that integrate and regulate because you can't you can ban it. If, if the, the entire world, the it's, universe hasn't banned crypto. It's just never so. So, so banning has just never been successful in Nigeria with rice chicken with whatever it is that we've decided we shut down our borders for more than a year wasn't in any way successful smuggling because was people thriving. found a way around exactly. it, you know and so and people were cashing out on true. This absolutely and so it, it 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 has never worked in the last few years we've continued to use the same process you know big hammer to kill a small ant and eventually still never worked you eventually hit your big toe and miss you know out on, on the whole idea and so if they decide that this is the steps you know these are the steps that they want to take Okay, fine. But have a better way of communicating to Nigerians the reasons why you're doing so. And maybe say, okay, in a year, when we have better understanding of how, of how these works, when we have better policies that can control it and protect your money and protect financial flows in Nigeria, then, when we can now, of course, you know, address the issue of terrorism funding in Nigeria and fraud, then you know, we can you know, open those doors again. But when you just wake up you know, some morning and say, man, well, this you know, has been on since 2017, 17, once again. But yeah. um, when you take steps like this, it's, it's harder for Nigerians to accept without a proper explanation you know that shows that yes you actually care about their money yes. you care about their businesses and you don't want to kill their businesses but you have to take these steps thank you just that reminds <laughs> me of what liberal Soshoma, our guest early on the program says that the government needs to understand this before they can even take any step regards exactly. banning or regulating exactly. it exactly that's uh where we draw the curtains today thank you very much big in november for You're being welcome. here as always every monday uh thank you to Osorge for being my very handsome host don't as have always. a choice <laughs> have to stay employed and get paid at the end of the month. Anyway. Aren't you going to say thanks to my beautiful <laughs> Thanks to Aneta uh, uh, for, of course, uh, kicking you. up this Monday with me. This is all we have for you today. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Remember, you can catch up on any parts of this uh, these conversations that you missed out on on social media. It is at Plus TV Africa on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Same with our YouTube channel. And one question I would ask again for a pastor who has been jailed or arrested for stealing $90,000 <laughs> in a church. Is there any forgiveness in the church? Where is the forgiveness? Exactly. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow.